one out of five or none out of five? That is the question, and this video should help you decide if getting one copy of these sync pairs, these anniversary sync pairs, do they change how you play the game? Or are you better off just skipping, you know, and saving your gems? So with that said, strap on your seatbelts, sit tight, and let's begin this little journey together. Here we go! Yo, 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 this is Sol, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt, the artist team is called Grunt, and this is Pokemon Masters EX, where we discuss if getting one copy of these sync pairs is good. Because not every one of you are getting more than one copy. In fact, as if it is easy to get more than one copy of Master Fairs. You know, Master Fairs only have a 1% chance of obtaining them in their respective Master Fair Scouts. Meanwhile, Ball Guy is a pretty, pretty sussing pair. But before we continue our discussion, guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button right now as it really takes time to make these videos and analysis. And if you haven't clicked on the bell notification and if you haven't subscribed yet, this is the time to do so. So hit subscribe, click on the bell notification, set it to all, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Tell me which one of these sync pairs are you excited to scout for. Are you gonna scout ball guy? The sus ball guy? Well, we're gonna get discussing, but this is just discussing the 1 out of 5 grid, so just getting one copy. If you want a fuller, more in-depth discussion, you can check out my 3.5 year anniversary Who to Scout for video coming probably tomorrow or in a couple of days where we discuss each one with their full potential, full grid whatsoever. But as always, I would like to give a huge shout out to all the members of my channel over here. I would like to welcome Artapome for being a Premier Ball tier member. Thank you for your support. And everyone else, you know who you guys are. Thank you so much for your kindness and generosity. As well as my gifters over here who have showered these guys with memberships. So if you want to hang out with us, as a VIP member, you can become active in the live chat, comments, and the thumbs ups, and the sharing if you want. And just in case any of these people or other members give away memberships, you might be one of the lucky recipients. So be active, chat with us, let's have some fun. Alright, now one more thing is I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who joined the SPL Gum Challenge 6. If you haven't joined yet, well, there are still like 2-3 days before SPL Gum Challenge 6 ends with our 10 pair scout tickets. Currently, the leaderboards as of day 6 is Piplup Enjoyer 3173 is at the top place, followed by Gizmo Hey, followed by Wallace Ting, followed by Abigyan, and followed by Surya. There are, men, there are some more after Surya, but I'm just saying the top 5 right now. So you guys are good, I guess, because I got zero points. And if you want, anyone else can catch up. Just start at zero points and, you know, just read the rules. The link is in the description. But now that is over, let us quickly discuss our sync pairs. So this is the timeline of sync pair scouts that are coming to these sync pairs. So starting off with Marnie, Champion Marnie in February 28th, Followed by Hop, two days apart from Champion Marnie. Followed by Champion Bead, March 4. Each one of these sync pairs are gonna end on April 8th. So you have the entire March to scout for them. If you're worried about not getting the gems, you know, our my gem count video reaches the end of March. So you will be able to get at least all of these sync pairs. So no worries about that. And then there is the sus ball guy starts on March 21 to April 6. This is the last week of March, I think, or second to the last week. There might be more sync pairs since the data mine or the update is not yet complete. 
So, there might be another sing pair after ball guy. And if we remember last year, April is the month of, well, it's a very sus month. Last, last year, we got spring sing pairs. Spring bird, spring May. Last year, we did not get any spring sing pairs. We got special costume units, costly units. So what is going to happen this year is still a big question mark. Nobody knows what's going to happen. But right now, let me just quickly remind you guys, Marnie, Hop, and Bead are Master Fairs. Master Fairs give you five multi-pools with presents on each of their banners. There's a 12% chance of getting a random 5-star by scouting on their banners. Five multi-pools each. And then there is just a 1% chance of getting them. So, if you get lucky, it might be a good idea to, you know, if, if, if you just want to use up your gems, you know, five multi-pools each. And if you're able to get one copy, you have a choice. If you have candies, maybe you can use your candies on them, save your gems, and maybe save your um sanity because you might get your second copy at scout points you might actually get your first copy at scout points if you are unlucky enough so if you get one copy within five five uh multiples consider yourself very lucky if you get more than one copy then i bonk you in the head okay Ball guy is a variety scout. What the heck is a variety scout? This is the second time we've had variety scout. First time, we got EV Day. We got, um, I think it was Lyra. It was um, Lucas. And I forgot the other one. Chris, I think. Chris, Lyra, and Lucas. With Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon. They are limited scouts. This one looks like a spotlight scout, but a variety scout. You get the benefits from spotlight scouts. You get three support move candy coins presents if you do three multiples on his banner. There's a paid route, 7,500 paid gems, guarantees you one copy, plus enough five star power ups to make him six star EX. But. The moment his banner ends on April 6, he disappears. So very, very sus banner. I'm not sure if they're gonna make Spotlight Scouts limited from here onwards with, with variety scouts. But take note that this is a Spotlight Scout that disappears. Limited time Spotlight Scout called Variety Scout. So every single one of these sync pairs is limited. All right, guys, that is the timeline. Let's start with Marnie and Moltres, or Champion Marnie and Moltres. If you see this background image, congratulations, you have successfully obtained her. And this one is a striker, a special striker with high HP, with a very high special attack stat, 502, and pretty average speed and pretty average defenses. You have Fiery Wrath as your main attack. It is a 4-move gauge attack that hits everyone and has a 20% chance of making the opponents flinch. Now, I'm not sure if the rate is equal for everyone or is it individualized like 20%, 20%, 20%, or is it 20% for each one, one sync pair flinches, every single sync pair flinches. I think it is separate, just like how Rock Slide works. So, Fiery Wrath. 4 move gauge, dark type AOE attacks. Pretty strong. We have protect, which applies the damage guard next effect to Marnie, which means that you will not receive damage from normal attacks, or you will receive half damage from the opponent's sync move. This is important if you want to survive the opponent's sync move, because her defense stats are low. The B Fiery Wrath as your buddy move. And what this does is that you have to unlock it first. And how do you unlock it? By using a sync move. And then when you use this sync move, it has a 50% chance of making the opponents flinch. This is an AOE attack as well. 50% chance of making every single opponent flinch. 
and this is basically piercing blows it ignores passive skills that lower the damage it ignores critical hit defenses it ing ignores endure effect and uh basically full damage even if there are multiple targets now what this means is because there's such a thing called aoe penalty so if you actually notice if you use aoe attacks three opponents you deal a, a certain amount of damage then suddenly one opponent faints you're left with two you'll notice that the damage slightly increases and if the opponent faints you left with one and you hit the opponent full damage from fiery wrath b fiery wrath does not care if you have two opponents one opponent three opponents full damage for everyone so that's good and then the attack power increases 20% when you are in a pinch. What does in a pinch mean? This is basically 30% or 33% HP. When your HP is color red, when your HP bar, that's when you are in a pinch. So if you are in a pinch, your attack power, your B Fiery Wrath gets powered up by an additional 20%. We have a trainer move called Triumphant Spirit. It maximizes your special attack stat if you have not lowered your special attack stat in any way. Speed stat plus 4, raises your evasiveness stat plus 2, and gives you an endure effect which basically guards you from dying at least one time. And then you receive 10% damage of your remaining HP. What this does is basically if you have low HP guys, if you have reduced HP, even 99% HP. Let's go quickly to her passive skills because this is what makes her good. Mind over matter 4, the last passive skill. If your HP stat is less than 100%, your special attack stat goes up 40%. And her special attack stat is 502. This is level 140, guys. If you have her 6-star EX, that is a 542 special attack stat. If it is increased by 40%, your special attack stat is equivalent to 758.8 or 759. That is insanely, insanely strong, guys. And then you have Galar Spirit. This is basically powers up every um, special attack damage that you deal the opponent except for sync moves. So this does not apply for the sync move. It powers up her Fiery Wrath. It powers up all your other sync pairs. Special attack damage. And it powers them up by a minimum of 20%. So if we actually compute that, I'm not sure about the computation, but let us just compute slightly. For example, 758 special attack stat with the Fiery Wrath. You can just imagine how strong Fiery Wrath becomes, plus powered up 20 more percent by Galar Spirit. That's just insane. And you also receive 20% or rather... Um, 25% less damage, special attack damage from the opponent, so that is good. You also got Sinister Aura, which basically at the start of the battle, you lower your sync move countdown minus 1, and it also raises your critical stat rank to max. Basically, you enter the battle, you lower your sync move countdown minus 1, you max out your critical hit rate. I cannot say how good this is. With a lot of things. Critical hit rate increase is important if you want to bypass the opponent's shields. If you want to bypass the opponent's physical damage reduction, special damage reduction for her, special damage reduction. So if you were not able to bypass the shields, that's 50% less damage. But critical hit just increases your damage by 1.5 five times if i'm not mistaken give her critical strike two that increases the damage by another 20 percent so critical hit rate max immediately i love it also reduces your sync move countdown again as i said spike mouth grift 
when your HP goes down to half or below, you restore your HP by 40%. This is basically first aid. And then increases your special moves up next effect by 3 stat racks the first time your HP drops to half or below. 3 stat ranks is basically 120% stronger. Because every single stat rank is 40% stronger. This is 140% stronger. Special attack that special moves up next effect. So your fiery wrath will become 140% stronger plus mind over matter. And you will not die because you recover HP. You recover that 40% HP. You have an endure effect by your triumphant spirit. This is just overall really good sync pair and let's check out the her sync move basically this taste for defeat fiery wrath probably the worst thing about her because no additional effect but that's that aside from that he she is an a special attack or she's a striker so if you have her six star ex her sync move will be able to hit everyone and with that high special attack stat you've got nothing to worry about now one out of five with her sync grid you only get Dauntless, your special attack cannot be lowered, and you got Unflappable, prevents yourself from flinching. But that's about it. She is overall, one copy of her gets her to very, very strong, gets her special attack stat to 700 plus even if you do not 6-star EX her. 700 plus special attack stat, as long as her HP is less than 100%. Plus 20% chance of letting everyone flinch. 50% chance of letting everyone flinch if you use your buddy move. Now correct me if I'm wrong. But what I understand about her is every single time anyone in your team uses a sync move. Your buddy move gets unlocked. Use that buddy move. The buddy move gets locked again. Anyone uses a sync move. Your buddy move gets unlocked again. So that's probably how you use her. That's Champion Marnie and Moltres, the very first sync pair of this update. Let's move on to Hop and Zapdos. This one is a tech sync pair. It's a fighting type tech sync pair. And this one packs some kicks or kicks. You got Thunderous Kick. Lowers the defense of the opponent by one stat rank. And now I want to jump quickly to the passive skill. You got Post Week Perseverance, the third passive skill over there. When the opponent's defense is lowered by the effects of Thunderous Kek, you get to um, lower the opponent's special defense as well. Now, if you use B Thunderous Kek, you lower the opponent's defense stat minus 3, you lower the opponent's speed stat minus 3, and this is an additional effect. So post week Perseverance will also lower the opponent's special defense minus 3 when you use B Thunderous Kek. Kick Sus. Um, we got... Wait, does he also have Protect? Sorry, he does not have Protect. Let me just remove that Protect from his kit. And a lot of other things. Let me just copy this and paste this here. And let me just copy this as well. And paste this here just so that I can correct myself. Alright, let's go back to this slide. So, um, her, his buddy move, Be Thunder Skek. When your team's sync move countdown is reduced by 6 when the move is deactivated. So you got to reduce your sync move countdown, and once it's reduced by 6, you get to activate B Thunderous Kick. And this never misses, it ignores the passive skills that will reduce the damage of this attack, so it ignores every single irritating thing, irritating passive of the opponents, ignores critical sh or ignores vigilance, I'm not sure if it ignores crit- if it ignores, uh, critical shield it ignores the opponent's enduring effect and it lowers the opponent's defense and speed by three stat ranks as we discussed earlier you got that hit plus 
a texting pair that can raise everyone's critical hit rate. And you got Triumphant Research as your trainer move. Turns the field of play into Fighting Zone. I like this. Because we got a Fighting Zone setter in the form of Aura Cynthia or Cygnus Suit Aura Cynthia. And how, the, how, you, how you use your Fighting Zone is basically use your Sync move. And if the sync move does not reach the next cycle of sync moves, well, goodbye fighting zone. This one, you can set up fighting zone anytime you want just by using triumphant research. And also by using this, you raise your speed stat plus 3, but you lower your special defense stat rank minus 1. So you lower your special defense by using triumphant research. But I think that is a nice trade-off. Just, you know, you can always use Fighting Zone, Fighting Zone, call in Fighting Zone. You want to use your Sing move, then use Triumphant Research first, bring in Fighting Zone so that you get the multipliers for Fighting Zone. Like that. And then your Sing move is Strongest Professor Thunderous Kek, which the more the opponent's defense is lowered, the stronger your attack is. So this is a built-in Relentless over here. Passive skill, you got a Master Passive Galar Pride, basically the same as Galar Spirit over to Marnie, but this time it powers up everyone's physical moves, physical attacks, so Thunderous Kek is powered up, B Thunderous Kek is powered up, as well as other Sync Pairs with physical attacks, it's gonna be powered up more, and the more Galar Sync Pairs you have in your team, the stronger the power up is, and the stronger the defense versus your opponents the physical attacks are you also got lightning legs at the start of the battle you also reduce your sync move countdown minus one same as marnie except what this does it maximizes your attack stat immediately at the start of the battle attack plus six for marnie it was critical hit rate maximum already this one attack stat plus 6 immediately and you have to use dire hit all plus in order to raise your critical hit rate post week perseverance we have talked about this and down for a freebie every single time your attack your stats are lowered either by yourself or by the opponent you get a free move next and how do you lower your stats triumphant research lowers your special defense stat minus one so the moment you use Triumphant Research, your special defense goes down minus one. You have a free move next. You can use B Thunder's Kick and then probably use whenever you use Triumphant Research again or if the opponent decides to just lower your stats. You got a free move next again. You will have your move gauge management quite sorted out for you. As you might know, Marnie and Hop all both have four move gauge attacks it's gonna be very expensive with the move gauge management but down for a freebie might help you with that all right let's move on to the synchrit one out of five gets you nothing much except flame proof you will not be burned and unflappable you will not flinch and let me just confirm this because i think this is similar to marnie no it's not the same as marnie this one, you just do not burn, and you do not flinch. For Marnie, it's slightly different, and that's that, guys. That is for Hop and Zapdos at 1 out of 5. So, what this does is, you know, the, the best thing about him is Fighting Zone in demand. That's the best thing about him. Fighting Zone, Fighting Zone, Fighting Zone. Aside from Fighting Zone in the man, nothing exactly that crazy about him. I mean, Sing Move Countdown minus one, a lot of other Sing Pairs have Head Start one anyway. And then a lot of other Sing Pairs can lower the defense stats, can lower the opponent's special defense. Nothing that crazy, but you get Fighting Zone in the man. So that's that, guys. Now, last but not the least, for these three champion Sing Pairs, we got Champion Bead and Articuno. So, if you see this image, Bead is not pink right now. Congratulations, you have obtained blue or purplish Bead. Purple Bead. 
This is purple, right? Anyway, you got two attacks this time. You got one Freezing Glare and two Confusion. Finally, a one move gauge attack for all the move gauge management issues of the last two sync pairs. This is a support sync pair, and if you see his defenses, defense stat 307, special defense at 317, not bad guys, not bad. Freezing Glare has a 10% chance of leaving the opponent frozen. Confusion, 10% chance of leaving the opponent confused. And you have a uh, buddy move as well, same as the others. Activation, you have to lower your sync move countdown minus 3 when this move is deactivated. And then once you use it, it disappears, it gets locked again. And the moment you lower your sync move countdown minus 3 again, that's just use 3 moves. For e one move for each of your sync pairs, then your your buddy move gets unlocked again, and so on and so forth. What this does is that it can have a 10% chance of leaving the opponent frozen, just one target. So, bead, one target, hop, one target, Marnie, all targets. And then, um, what this does, it, it is raises everyone's defense and special defense plus one and gives everyone a free move next effect for your move gauge management so this is uh well this is the way you can raise your defenses guys just by using b freezing layer after each one of your sync pairs have used one move so his his Trainer move is a lot questionable. This is a 4 move gauge trainer move. And it raises everyone's attack, special attack, and critical hit rate plus 2. It also gives everyone a physical moves up next effect and a special moves up next effect. Powering up everyone's physical moves by 40% as well as special moves by 40%. But again, this does not apply to sync moves it only applies to normal attacks and buddy moves so that is that guys this is a four move gauge buddy or trainer move very expensive you can use this twice and then you have a sync move always winning freezing glare that basically does nothing it's just a normal sync move with no additional effect but if you have him 6 star EX, then you get a double sync buff because of support benefits. Passive skills, you got Galar Flag Bearer, which powers up everyone by 10%. Both the normal attacks and the special attacks, but not affecting the sync moves. And you also power up everyone's defenses as well. And then you got Conniving Wings, lowers... Uh, your sync move countdown minus one and it raises the speed stat of every single sync pair by two stat ranks at the start of the battle so if you actually notice marnie lowers the sync move countdown hop lowers the sync move countdown and bead also lowers the sync move countdown and if we check the buddy move the activation condition of b freezing glare is that if your sync move countdown is lowered by three you get to activate your buddy move. So at the start of the battle, if you have Bead, Marnie, and Hop in your team, you can get to use B Freezing Glare immediately and give yourself a defense buff immediately at the start of the battle and has a 10% chance of freezing the opponent and gives everyone a free move next effect. By getting that free move next effect, your triumphant tenacity will be free so you do not need to use four move gauges for that you get to raise everyone's attack special attack and critical hit rate plus two and give everyone physical moves up next effect and special moves up next effect aside from that you got Bal balonea balonlea teachings i still mispronounce this even after sword and shield balonlea teachings restores one mp of his moves whenever you use a sync move i think this is up this applies to every single sync pair so if any of your sync pairs uses a sync move you get to recover one mp for everything so you get one mp back for b freezing glare which you can only use once so by 
using a same move, you bring back one freezing layer, and then you bring back one triumphant tenacity, so you can maximize everyone's attacks, special attack, and critical hit rate, and probably physical moves up next effect, and special moves up next effect as well. And you also get Vigilance, which prevents you from getting hit by critical hits, which also gives you, opens the route or the road to giving him a lucky skill that is not Vigilance. So probably healthy healing or probably interference immunity or something could be a good one here. Or probably you want to lower the opponent's special defense, you might want to give um, mind games 2 instead or anything of that sort you can give some other lucky skill to him I wish that synchro healing was a lucky skill but unfortunately not guys so we move on to his grid he gets anti-freeze prevents you from being frozen and flappable prevents you from flinching and that's just about it he is a weird sync pair which relies on other sync pairs because his trainer move is so expensive, Triumphant Tenacity, 4 move gauge attack. But if you're able to lower your sync move countdown, B Freezing Glare will help you raise your defense stat and special defense stat. I'll bite pretty slow unless you get her or get him at a much higher move level at 3 out of 5. But at 1 out of 5, he is just well pretty slow and pretty tricky to use and pretty gimmicky to use so that is the bead and articuno for you guys and last but not the least we have ball guy and sus pokemon so this is the background image pokeballs are just full of surprises don't you think you got an interesting sync pair this is also a support sync pair you got absorb and clear smog Absorb, one move gauge attack, steal the opponent's HP, and clear smog, a two move gauge attack, you can use this twice, and when you use this, you'll return the opponent's raise stats to normal. This is basically, you know, a lot of other sync pairs have things to do with opponent's stats have to be, have not, should not be raised for the multipliers to happen, something like that happens with Leer. Something like that happens with Cygnus with Corinna and many other sync pairs have want to have the opponent's stats at normal, no raise whatsoever. Clear Smog can help you with that. You also have trainer moves, you got move gauge boost, charges your move gauge by 3 and on the ball, 1 MP, you can activate one of several conditions or effects at the random now i'm not sure what the random effects these are i'm gonna just check on them later on but it also restores your hp by 10 percent and it removes all status conditions from all your allies also it raises your critical hit rate plus one and you might be wondering oh come on just one just one critical hit rate plus and then just one use of on the ball well there's a passive skill called underhanded refresh nine that's the second one and every single time you hit an opponent with a status condition you get to restore one mp and how do you deal a status condition to the opponent well by letting them hit you destructive touch nine when the opponent hits you they left they are left either poisoned or paralyzed or asleep so this is how you use it so you just leave him as your tanker and the, when the opponent hits you they are either poisoned paralyzed or asleep and when you attack the opponent when they are like that you get one mp back for clear smog for move gauge boost and for on the ball so you can lower the opponent's race stats back again to normal you can bring back your move gauge again or you can again restore some hp raise everyone's critical hit rate and activate one of certain effects at random and then there's team hit me up nine whenever you get hit by the opponent you raise every single opponent or every single one of your sync pairs either attack defense special attack special defense or speed stat one stat rank up by random when the opponent hits you so you want 
to make him your tanker. How does he? How is his defenses? 469, 278. Well, pretty okay if you have him six star EX that goes up to 300 plus, and you can always recover some health by using on the ball you recover 10% HP. So, with his Syncrit, you get one good tile at 1 out of 5. You get on the ball, Team Randomizers raise 9. When you attack an opponent, either using Absorb or using uh, Clear Smog, you get to raise every single Sync Pair's stat rank randomly, either attack, defense, special attack, special defense, or speed. This is the opposite of Team Hit Me Up. Team Hit Me Up, you have to get hit. This one, Team Randomizers Raise 9, you have to attack an opponent and you get to raise one stat at random. I guess this is good and it's good that they put this with one required copy only. So you only need one copy, you get one nice tile for him. And that is Ball Guy and the Sus Pokemon. So, those are all four Sync Pairs we have. Again, a recap of everyone, Marnie, very high special attack, AOE flinch, AOE dark type attack, and overly very strong. You just have to lower her HP. You do not want her HP at 100. You want it at 99 or somewhere above 80% and she is just very powerful. Pop! And lower the opponent's defense and special defense whenever you attack an opponent and also the lowest uh, opponent's speed. But what you're looking for with Hop is in-demand or on-demand fighting zone. You can bring in fighting zone anytime you want by using her his trainer move. Bead, on the other hand, is kind of tricky to use with one copy. You get to bring in 1 MP back every single time any of your sync pairs use a sync move. And that's how you raise your defense and special defense by using um, your trainer. Was it your trainer move or your buddy move? I think it's your buddy move. And uh, his trainer move is interesting. You get to raise your attack, your critical attack, hit rate, your special attacks that you give everyone. Uh, Physical moves up next and special moves up next effect, but very expensive with the move gauge management, especially with just one copy of him. And very slow raising of stats. Pretty slow compared to other Sync Bears in my opinion. And then there's Ball Guy, a sus Pokemon character. Um, very easy, interesting to use. You can inflict lots of different status conditions. You can keep recovering HP and you can raise everyone's stats at random. Attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed stat at the random. Now, if you were to ask me, how do I rate these sync pairs? Priority list. One is definitely first sync pair you want to scout for, in my opinion, is Bolgasas. <laughs> is Marnie. Champion Marnie is your first choice just because of how insane that dark type attack stat dark type sync move is even though even if you have karen you know she karen probably cannot compare at all with her and we do not get a lot of dark types we got um we got uh the mask royal we got sydney who are physical attackers this one is a special attacker so might you might want to add her as your roster because she deals with special attacks hop fighting zone on demand so number two is my hop number two number three is a toughie with one copy i do not exactly recommend you to go for beard because of how difficult he is to use but you know master fair so probably go for bead because master fair you know you get mass galler flag bear you get the master passive which builds up which powers up all your sync pairs not just him but all sync pairs in your team and then you got ball guy which can power up any single stat in, including critical hit rate so my number one is marnie number two is hop number three can be either of the two in my opinion three copies probably bead one copy probably ball guy 
but we're going to discuss three copies later on when I do my who to scout for video. But in the meantime, as I always said, don't listen to me, listen to your heart. Because faves over meta, and although I would say that the meta did not exactly change except fighting zone on demand, much much stronger special attack stat, you know, Marnie is good to get, but if you do not want Marnie, if you want bead, if you love bead, then why not go for bead? The other bead is very strong though, I like the other bead much better than this bead, but anyway, as usual, and... Thank you for watching. If you want to know how many gems we can get, you know, invest wisely in these sync pairs. I'm here to give you a guide on who to scout for. And my opinion, you should scout for the striker first. But check this out if you haven't. Let yourself know how many gems you can get for the month of March. And see how well you are dealing with your gem count because 36,600 gems if you get shafted. One copy, 36,600 gems. That is not cheap. That is painful. Painful for your wallet. Or if you do not spend money on the game, it's still painful for your gem wallet. You've been saving up for a very long time. But that aside, that is the end of my video. Again, check out my 3.5 year anniversary Who to Scout for video coming soon once I work on that video. But that is the end of my 1 out of 5 or non out of 5 video. Let me know how I did. Let me know who you're scouting for in the comment section. And with that, I'd like to thank once again my awesome gifters. Thank you for your generosity, Ewis, Roy, Shadowfill, Jeremy. And to my awesome receivers, thank you for being active in my channel. Be active and probably receive a gift membership sometime soon. And thank you. For those who want to support me, you can support me for as low as one US dollar a month for Pokeball tier member. Thank you, Arda Poem, for joining the Premier Ball tier members. Thank you, Shadow Phil, Alcin, Roy, Luca, for supporting me for two years. Thank you, Jeremy, Sasri, Marcella, Kosei, and Ewis for supporting me for one year. And thank you, Marokman, for Ultra Ball. Great Ball tier member, Aurora Espion, and Yuki. Premier Ball tier member, other members, Shido Vods. Thank you, Pokeball tier members, Tatsuya, Goldap, Saras, Kundan, and Pokefrendo. And again, welcome are the poem to the members. And with that said, that is it. This is Sol, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt, Radish Team Skull Grunt. Reminder, if you haven't, do it. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Right.